Hi guys, welcome you all to another video of software testing by MKD. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about super calling statement in Java. So let's get started. So super calling statement in Java, which is this one, is used to call from subclass constructor to the immediate. Immediate is a very important word here. Try to understand your super calling statement in java is used to call from subclass constructor to the immediate super class constructor immediate super class constructor in the sense if you have two classes both the classes having constructor so super calling statement is used to call from subclass constructor to the immediate super class constructor so you will be having here two classes or many classes so you will be having here example two classes so using one of the class you will call this super calling statement which will call immediate the class which is above it in that there will be a constructor so it will call that particular constructor so super calling statement in java is used to call from subclass constructor to the immediate super class constructor now to understand this topic super calling statement we need to know some of the rules before using this super calling statement in java so the rule number one says that super calling statement to be used only in the case of inheritance so your super calling statement to be used only in the case of inheritance you cannot use super calling statement anywhere else if your program is having inheritance that means if your classes extends some classes if you see any program randomly how you will identify that this particular class is inheritance so the best part of identifying any program is inheritance topic or not is just just see whether any classes is writing extends term or not extend keyword or not if you see any class is extends is there if extent is the keyword which is used to inherit the properties of some class to subclass so if you see in your class there is extent term that means this particular class is my inheritance concept program so you can use your super calling statement so first rule before of using super calling statement is super calling statement to be used only in the case of inheritance and second rule says that my super calling statement should be the first statement in my constructor. My third rule says that my super calling statement can be only one in one of the constructor. You cannot have two super calling statement inside a single constructor. Next rule says that you cannot have a combination of this calling statement and super calling statement inside a single constructor. Always remember your super calling statement will come only into the picture when there is an inheritance. Always remember how to overcome that is your super calling statement will only come under the topic of inheritance. So the next rule of super calling statement says that if user is not writing super calling statement explicitly means in a constructor if a user is not writing super calling statement then compiler itself will write implicitly the super calling statement. If user is not writing, suppose suppose you are writing a constructor and in that you are not mentioning, you are not writing explicitly, explicitly in the sense if you are not writing, if that if that is not visible, if super calling statement is not visible, then what compiler will do? Compiler will implicitly, he will write super calling statement. Next rule says that if user is mentioning explicitly super calling statement then compiler will not write implicitly super calling statement next rule says that we have two type of super calling statement one is parameterized super calling statement that is super calling statement with set of parameter and one is super calling statement without having parameter that is non parameterized super calling statement so based on the parameter that you pass with your super calling statement it will invoke the constructor based on its parameter and that particular constructor will will get invoked if you are creating a super calling statement without parameter it will directly go and call its immediate super class constructor in which there are no parameter if you are creating a super calling statement with a set of parameter then that particular super calling statement will call its super class constructor with those sets of parameter 
and that particular constructor will get invoked. So before I end this video, just trying to understand that super calling statement to be used only in the case of inheritance. How do you identify that your program is inheritance or not? Wherever you see extend term, if you see any program for the first time, in that if you see extend term is there, extend keyword is there, that means it is related to inheritance. So there you can use super calling statement to call from subclass constructor to the immediate super class constructor. Means you will be having number of classes and each classes method will not be a normal method. It won't be a non-static method, but it will be a constructor. So you will be having multiple classes and each classes will have a special type of method which is called as constructor method. So your super calling statement will be used to call from subclass constructor to the immediate, immediate, the class which is above it. To call from subclass constructor to the immediate super class constructor. So guys, my next video will be how do you write a program for a non-parameterized super calling statement. If you think this video was useful, give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MGT and please share this video with your needy friends. You have any doubt? List out your doubts in the comment section. I will be answering. Want to reach to me out? I have added my core account, Twitter account, Gmail account in the link description. Please check it out.